that uh, flax flour. And uh, on Roland's side over here, and I see carrots have been mixed with the potatoes as well. On Roland's side here, that sauce is uh, smelling great. great. Uh, sous chef, be careful. Um, we got some peppers being stripped and cleaned. I see uh, we're doing some beautiful element. And what else is in there, chef? That's uh, the tricolor carrots, the yes. sweet peppers, leeks, and uh, it's going to be sort of like Asian slopping. Awesome, Asian slopping. That's a good thing. It's, it's not a technical term. And I see we've got a little Worcestershire sauce on the go, some Tabasco. I see we got some curry on the table, some cayenne pepper, some right. ginger. And the smell and flavor of this okay. is really kind of neat. There's some lime in there as well and ginger. So there you go, some sort of slaw. Yes, Christine, you go for it. I just wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about Taste in Nova Scotia. We've got our brand new culinary guides for the year. And inside is 134 ways to eat and drink your way around the province. So if you don't have one, I highly suggest you pick one up. We have some here on the stage. If you want to raise your hand, I'll come around and grab a few. Perfect. Um, so inside we've got some amazing recipes. As we were saying, Chef Roland Gloucester has a, a recipe in here. 15 from our members that you can do at home. We've got the Prestige Awards happening this year. And in the past, they've all been member nominated. Now we're adding a consumer element. So you can actually go online as of June 1st, nominate your favorite restaurant, your favorite server, Someone that is a culinary ambassador for Nova Scotia, so it could be your next door neighbor, it could be someone you know down the road, it could be uh, anyone that you know that promotes local products and supports what we're doing here in Nova Scotia on the culinary side of things. The other thing is on the back is our Taste of Nova Scotia website. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. We've got pictures already up from the last two days of competition. So feel free to go in, write your comments, tell us that you've been to the competition and uh, what you liked best about it. So. I think, uh, Alan, are you ready for more cooking commentary? Oh, he's not. Okay. Um, so, yeah, definitely go online. Check out our tasteinnovascotia.com website. We've got a fantastic blog, lots of information about culinary events. You can sign up for our e-newsletters. Um, I write them, so I know they're fantastic. Lots of great recipes and events in there. Okay. Awesome, Christine. Hey, some stuff's happening kind of interesting here, but I want to point out that uh, time is starting to run out on us. Uh, we're getting there. I see some of the judges are up and watching what's going on on both sides to take a closer look. But uh, it's interesting to see that uh, on the left hand side so far I've seen every single ingredient used. Uh, but I haven't seen all the ingredients on Roland's side yet. He must be keeping that as a surprise. I see the bacon hasn't been used yet and neither has the flax flour. But we're getting there, I'm sure. Terry's got, uh, I see his bacon abdominals are nice and crispy now and he's throwing some spinach in there. That'll be beautiful. The flavor of that's going to be intense. And they got lots of herbs on the go. The ginger is all chopped up. So is the garlic and so is the peppers. You can see that happening on this side. And uh, on Roland's side, that uh, some sort of coleslaw thing is starting to smell really darn good. Uh, and I see he's uh, taking the skin off uh, the bacon a little bit and he's going right for the meat. So I, we'll see where that all goes. And uh, Sue, you're chopping up some, some mint. So we got some mint, we got some maple. In there, we've got a little curry, a little cayenne, Tabasco. Wow, that's going to be an intense flavor. And uh, not to mention that cranberry sauce that's on the go as well on the back there. That's beautifully reduced. I don't know if you can see that on your end. But uh, look at this beautiful color. Uh, I hope you can see that, but the smell of that is amazing. So a lot of interesting flavors on one side and totally different flavors on the other side. Both very interesting. So it'll be nice to see uh, the Italian style of cooking that uh, Terry loves so much. Uh, see how this all comes out. So folks, any questions? We Christine? do. We have a question from the audience. Awesome. Excuse me. They actually produce these recipes for people. Like well, at this point, it'll be hard for them to produce it because they're, they're swinging it on the move. But uh, I have no idea what's going to turn out at the end. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that if this recipe turns out good, these chefs will have this on their menu for sure. I think Roland, Roland was about to say. Two chefs on? I mean, whether this is ever going to you know, end up uh, in a restaurant that's... Uh, who knows, huh? You never know. Maybe, maybe once you try, we can... I think the big thing, folks, too, is to see the style of cooking that the two gentlemen have. Two different styles all together. Uh, Christine Ironworks is back, but it's not all drag, so that's a good thing. Uh, did you want to leave it here? There you go, sir. Be our pleasure. A uh, little glass. There you go. What else, Christine? Perfect. 
So Terry, I see you're, you're uh, warmed up the bacon and the spinach. That looks kind of nice. I assume that's going to be on his plate somewhere. Roland has got the bacon broken out. He's got to cut them in small little ladon. And uh, there's that slaw. That's, uh, that smells awesome. Were and there any other questions? Sitting inside the flavor, so the longer it sits, the more it's going to penetrate inside of those carrots and peppers. So, Christine, you've got a question? I've got an apron for a question. There we go. I, I have a question before.